Neutron beam therapy is a combination of up-to-date engineering and clinical medicine. This is typical of how Mrs. Blanche Locke of Northfields in Birmingham has been prepared for treatment with the neutron beam. She has to wear a specially prepared mask to hold her head absolutely still so that the beam of neutrons coming through that cone in the thick concrete wall behind her can be directed to precisely the right places on her face for each one of the 12 separate treatments of her course. During treatment, the patient is alone, so music is provided by the staff in the clinical control room to prevent the patient being lonely. The course of treatment made Mrs. Locke's tumour disappear completely, and a full year after it's all over, she's still perfectly well. But this is how she looked before treatment, and the x-rays showed the tumour in her mouth had made a hole right through her jaw. So how successful is this neutron treatment generally? I asked the consultant in charge of the neutron clinic, Dr. Mary Catterall. In selected cases, it is very successful. The results of uh, the first controlled clinical trial where patients with similar tumours are treated either with neutrons or with x-rays show a statistically significant benefit to the neutron-treated patients. Uh, in selected cases, it, it, the neutrons are causing tumours to disappear, which really do not react and respond to any other type of treatment. But if neutrons are this successful, then why aren't there more machines like this? Well, uh, obviously they're expensive and they had to be tried in a very specialist unit first. And I hope that uh, the time is now coming when uh, machines will be developed and will be put in several hospitals throughout the United Kingdom. Behind this treatment of cancer, there is nuclear engineering. At the centre of the building is a large machine called a cyclotron, which accelerates nuclear particles to such great energies that they smash atoms and release neutrons. The machine is also used for many other medical applications at the Hammersmith Hospital. But the production of beams of neutrons to treat certain forms of cancer is one of the most revolutionary uses. The big question now is whether these first successes can be extended to other types of cancers. <laughs> 